Hi, this is Scott Vaughn again, and I'm going to talk about Roman numerals today. Okay, so we're all pretty familiar. We see uh, Roman numerals in, in many places in modern life, on clocks, uh, creating outlines, maybe a copyright date at the end of the movie. Of course, the Super Bowl is another place where Roman numerals are often used uh, in, in uh, identifying the, the, the number of the Super Bowl. So here are the Roman numerals, the 1, the I, the V, X, L, C, D, and M, and the values of those uh, symbols underneath. One way you can remember the order here is a uh, mnemonic that goes like this, if vowels x-ray looks clear, don't medicate. Um, and uh, some of them I uh, can uh, remember, C I remember for century, that's how I remember the 100. And, um, M is mil in Latin. It's not a million, it's 1,000. Um, and those sort of help me. Otherwise, I just have memorized, for example, the L for 50 and the D for 500. I just have to memorize those. Uh, the 1, the 5, and the 10, it's an idea that the V, you can make sort of a V with one hand, the five fingers. You put your four fingers together and your thumb out, it creates kind of a V. And so People have imagined maybe that's where the symbol comes from, and then two of those together, uh, you could create a, uh, a, a, a X. So, um, okay, so what I'll do is I'll go through rules for how to write Roman numerals. Um, we will always take two symbols at a time, and if we're looking at two symbols, if the value goes up, you add them. If the value, uh, I'm sorry, if the values decrease, you add them. If the values increase, you subtract the first from the second. So simple examples here, a 5 and a 1 uh, make 6. The value is actually going down. That's when I add. When the values go up, that's when I subtract. Um, I have some additional conditions here on how this works. Uh, you can only subtract. When it comes to subtracting, you can only subtract uh, 2 at a time, and you only subtract i from only v and x. You only subtract x from the l and the c, and you only subtract the c from the D and the M. So the only ones that could be subtracted are the, the 1, the 10, and the 100. And they can only be subtracted from the next two symbols in that order. Uh, so here's some examples of simple subtractions. C, D, what's happening here? I got 100 and then the symbol for 500. So because the value goes up, I subtract. 100 subtracted from 500, that's how it's equal to 400. This is D and then C, the values here are going down. A symbol for 500 and then 100. They, go, they decrease, so you add, you get 600. You have an L and then an X, the value is going down from 50 to 10. So that means add, that's 60. Here the value is going up from 10 to 50. So that means I subtract the 10 from the 50 and I have 40. No symbol is going to be repeated more than three times. The maximum number of times that you repeat a symbol uh, is only three. And so um, if, you need, if you want to write something that has more than, than three symbols repeating, then you've got to try a different way to write it using some kind of subtraction of following the rules above. When it comes to taking a number in the Hindu Arabic modern form and trying to write it into Roman numerals, I have a strategy that I'll look at powers of 10. I'll look at all the 1,000s first, do that. Then the 100s, do that. Then the tens place, and then the ones place. And if you do those separately, it makes it a lot easier to write. All right, so uh, I've got some examples here. Um, the number nine. If you, for, you see how you don't want to write that with, a, with four ones, uh, because that would repeat something more than three times. So to write the number nine, instead of writing four symbols repeated, I'm going to find some kind of subtraction to make that work. So I'll look for uh, 10 and then just take off one. So my answer there is uh, one and then an X. Okay, How about the number 90. So you don't want to write uh, a 50 and four tens. That would be incorrect because you're repeating four times. So instead, look for a subtraction and, uh, and here what I could do is, is look for something close to 90. You've got 100, and then you can subtract off 10 from that. So it should be X, C. So that 
that's my answer for that one. Now, when, when it comes to uh, the number 15, to get the number 15, what I'll do is, um, my, my strategy is to look at the, the, uh, the 10 first and then the 5. Right? So first 10 and then 5. Um, and that's what you see is the answer here. Another kind of tricky one is, the, is 19. Um, so what I'll do is I'll first uh, do the 10 and then do the 9. So the 10 is the x and the 9 is the ix, so xix is my answer. Um, my example here, 49. So what I want to suggest is that a, a nice way to get uh, 49 is to do the 40 and then the 9. 40 is xl, 9 is ix, 49 is xl, ix, all put together. For the number 19, do, oh, I did that one. Okay, how about 493? So I'll want to pause the video, see if you can figure it out, and then see what the answer is that I have. Okay, and as far as a strategy for how to do this is um, look at the 400 first, and then the 90, and then the 3. So when I uh, try to write the number 493, what I'll do is I'll take the 400 and write that. That's going to be CD because the C is the 100 subtracted from the 500. And then I work separately on the 90. The 90 is XC and then get the 3. So put all that together at the end and you have 493. Okay, here's another one, 777. To write 777, the best way to handle this is to do the 700 first, and then the 70, and finally the 7 at the end. 700 is uh, 500 with two 100s. The 70, I write that as a 50 with two 10s. Make 70, and then the 7 is a 5 and 2 ones. So here's 777. Let's do the number 24 in Roman numerals. So the way I would I would handle that is to look at the 20 first and then the 4. The 20, of course, I, I could use two tens, and four, I could use the IV, and so that's my answer. X, X, I, V. I want to point out something about reading Roman numerals that uh, is kind of a tricky little detail. Um, that is, that if you were looking at the number X, X, I, V, in reading that, you could think 21 maybe then plus 5, and that would be a mistake. And so this is just sort of highlighting how, you know, while this is 24, X, X, I, that's equal to 21. And it's only after you see that there's an increase here that we change how we interpret that one. We realize that because there's an increase in the symbol, in the value of the symbol, uh, I have to take that pair and separate it as a single value as being a four, whereas here it was added. Okay, if we're going to write the number 1098 in Roman numerals, how do you go about that? Well, break up the 1,000, there are no hundreds, so then you write the 90, and then you write the 8, and then put it all together. So the 1,000, that's M, 90, that's XC, and 8 is VIII. So putting all that together, MXCVIII. Um, 
the Roman numeral XL is, uh, is, is uh, 40. Okay, so I have uh, a few more examples here. Let's convert MDC XII into modern numeration. So in order to do this, I'll, I'll just go down this list one at a time. M is 1,000. So things like this, 1,000. The D, that's 500. And the C is 100. Uh, and uh, values are going down, so I know that I'm going to continue adding. The X is 10, and uh, the I, the two I's, that makes 2. So that's 1,500 plus another 100, that's 1,600, 1,612. 1,612 is the answer for that one. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the next one. Just start writing above each one of these numbers, M, C, M, L, X, I, V. What is this in modern numbers? That's a 1,000, and that's a 100, and that's another 1,000. So right here I see an increase. I know I'm going to need to do a subtraction. The L, that's a 50, and that's a 10, so those are going to add, and that's of course a 1 and a 5. So whenever I see an increase, I'm going to, to do a subtraction, and I'm going to take that pair and do the subtraction on just that pair. And so I've got 1,000, and then I have 900 right here. So it would have added if it weren't for the fact that it increases again. So that's 1,000, 900, and then, of course, and these are all just going to be, well, this is add, so I'm going to subtract. So that's 1,000, 900. One thousand nine hundred sixty-four. About fifteen eighty-two in Roman numerals. So now, when I'm going into Roman numerals, what I do is, is I like to think about it as one thousand first, and then the five hundred, and then the eighty, and then the two. So that's M for 1,000, uh, the, the, uh, the D is 500, I need an 80, so that means I need a 50 and three tens, and then two. So M, D, V, X, 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 I, I. That's 1582. Any other examples? How about the year 2010? 2010 in Roman numerals, so I convert, I can do the 2000, and then I do, there's no 100, so I'll just do the 10. So that's 2000 is just mm and then x. m, m, x, and that's it for that. Nineteen forty-eight. Nineteen forty-eight. So I'll do the one thousand, and then the nine hundred, and then the forty, and then the eight. So the one thousand is M. The nine hundred. The way to get nine hundred is to do a CM. So you get uh, one hundred taken away from a thousand. The forty. Of course, I need to get uh, ten subtracted from fifty. So uh, X. L is 40, and then 8 is V with three ones. So here's 1948. It's M, C, M, X, L, V, I, I, I. Okay. Here's another challenge. How about 1848? Eighteen forty-eight. I'll do the one, the one thousand, the eight hundred, the forty, and the eight. Put all that together. Eighteen forty-eight is M D C C C X L V I I I.
All right, Super Bowl XLIV was played in February 2010. What number is this? So XLIV, what I do here is look at the X and the L and realize that's 40, and the I and the V, and that's 4. So putting that together, that's 44. So that was Super Bowl 44 in uh, 2010. So what's the number for, super, for the Super Bowl held three years later in 2013? Let's put that in, in uh, Roman numerals. Well, I know three years later is going to be Super Bowl 47. So let's see if we can figure out how to put 47 in Roman numerals. So I'll do the 40, and I'll do the 7. So 40 is XL, and 7 is VII. So that's it, XLVII. Kind of a fun question that you could also ask is, what is the biggest number that I could make with the rules that we've seen so far in this video? And I came up with 4,998, where I don't repeat anything four times. Um, and uh, I'm only adding. Uh, another thing that the ancient Romans did to make large numbers that, uh, was to put a bar on top of any symbol. And that would make it 1,000 times bigger. So, for example, if I wanted to do 5,000, I'd do a V with a bar on top. A V with a bar on top, and, and you reach 5,000.